hello this video is mostly for people dealing with anxiety and depression i noticed this topic is not really really speaked on properly and then i want you all to realize that pain is natural pain is part of living and at some point there will be a lot of discomfort that you just can't understand everybody is dealing with health issues most people get sick constantly most people get um aware of their body and you wonder what is happening it could be your tongue it could be like you having difficulty in breathing it could be a high blood pressure so there is nothing for you to be scared of there is nothing for you to be ashamed of so i'm trying to create awareness because when this happened most people feel it's not normal you know at the end of the day anxiety is the first thing that happens the fear leading to depression and then most of the times depression kicks in first like when depression kicks in broke first it's really really worse so the anxiety would, would have been way more preferable because if the anxiety comes you start speaking to people about it but the moment depression comes it shut down the whole system and then that is when the victims start getting suicidal so the best thing to do is this if you feel anxiety and what are the what are the signs that you have anxiety you suddenly start overthinking you know thinking of something over and over again which is normal as human beings one thing we feel to realize is as human beings we overthink situations but we look at it to be abnormal and we want to live this perfect life because on the media you see a lot of people presenting themselves that they look perfect and everything is okay and then <clears throat> we accept it like me i just applied my night cream on my face and i'm very very comfortable on the camera applying it because i have no insecurities and i have nothing to be scared of okay i feel it's just normal thing part of life even though i'm feminine or not that doesn't stop nothing so i'm trying to tell you all this you need to learn also to read books build your self-confidence take a walk taking a walk will make you discover a whole lot about yourself and a whole lot of you know you have a lot of questions that you ask people people would never answer your questions perfectly they'll just give you the idea but then you can learn and improve from them so if you're going through anxiety and depression learn to take anxiety pills and also there are pills for anxiety there are pills for depression you could you know it's nothing for you to worry about or go for therapy too as well whatever will help you improve like me um i went through anxiety at some point in my life because i was overthinking things too much because i'm way too ambitious and it affects me a lot i'm a capricorn and i'm an earth sign so I feel like we're so ambitious that we start thinking if I venture in this, will it work? If I venture in this, will it work? And we have breakdown and, oh, I did this business. It didn't work out. Oh, I'm just tired. I don't know where I'm going to start from. Oh, I just got to get the money in, especially. So at some point, all those things accumulated and caught cost me anxiety so i was close to being depressed but i knew it wasn't depression because one thing about depression is this you feel so empty like i didn't have that feeling so the moment the only time i had that uh, feeling was when i went through a very very crazy breakup stuff like that like i didn't feel anything everything was just not normal to me by the end of the day i healed and i pulled through so what i want to teach you all is this if you're going through anxiety or depression make sure you learn to speak with people don't keep it to yourself and don't isolate the problem is isolation the worst problem about depression and anxiety is isolation so the moment you isolate yourself too much that is where the anxiety kicks in it kicks in and when anxiety and depression comes together that is suicidal so do not allow it get to that moment learn to to know your, your you know what are your weak points what triggers this so if it's somebody that triggers it they associate yourself if you're not having enough sleep too enough sleep affected me i also went through um difficulty in breathing because i wasn't having enough sleep and not having enough sleep affects your respiratory organs so that is all for today and i'm gonna make more for you on this to create awareness my name is jennifer billions and i love you all so much take care of yourself and be safe bye